The time is always right to do what is right. With this quotation, I, Shivani, welcome you all to Sense and Opinions. So let's begin with today's latest BuzzFeed. The middle class emerging as a key electoral force in India. The middle class has emerged as key electoral force. As the economy grows and income increase, people are moving out of poverty and joining the middle class. While political parties compete to attract poor people, they are also trying to win over this new and growing segment, which makes up about one third of the country's 1.3 billion population. Leaders of Bharatiya Janata Party and Congress Party are targeting the dominant middle class bloc with speeches and campaign promises. PM Modi biopic will be releasing on May 24th after Lok Sabha elections. The makers of Vivek Obra's star biopic on Prime Minister Narendra Modi Friday announced that the film will be released countrywide on May 24th, a day after the results of Lok Sabha elections are declared. The film was earlier set to release on April 11, but was banned by the Election Commission. Earlier last month, the Election Commission had banned the film until the end of the elections, saying its release would interfere with free and fair polling. Pakistan has created terrorist groups to be a tool in the struggle against India. According to the reports, former top American spy master has quoted saying Pakistan obsessed with India as a perceived existential threat has created terrorist groups to be in a tool in its struggle against India. CIA acting director Michel Morel in a discussion said that Pakistan is one of the most dangerous countries in the world. Pakistan has created terrorist groups to be in a tool in the struggle against India. Pakistan has spent more money on nuclear weapons than they do in education. Chaiwala has gone back on promises. They have been exposed, says Akhilesh Yadav. Samajwadi president Akhilesh Yadav on Thursday attacked Prime Minister Narendra Modi, saying that Chaiwala has betrayed people by going back on his promises. He also claimed that Adityanath government in the state was pursuing a Togo policy and insulting the police force. Cyclone Fani makes landfall in Odisha's Puri. Cyclone Fani, the strongest storm in India in two decades, hits Odisha this morning and has started making its impact felt. Large areas in the temple of town of Puri and other places were submerged as heavy rain battered the coast, according to officials. Strong winds were seen in parts of coastal Andhra Pradesh and West Bengal as well. All flights from Bhumneshwar have been cancelled from midnight. Kolkata airport will be shut between 9.30 p.m. on Friday till 6 p.m. on Saturday. A total of 140 trains including 83 passengers trains have been cancelled so far. Prakash Ambedkar claimed neither Modi nor Rahul Gandhi will become the next PM. Dalit leader Prakash Ambedkar on Thursday claimed neither Narendra Modi nor Rahul Gandhi will become the next Prime Minister and someone from the third front may occupy the post after the elections. Ambedkar also said S.E. Deve Govda could be a dark horse for the post. Ayushman to wear a sari in Dream Girl. Ayushman gets a chance to wear a sari as he says I have recently discovered regard for women for sari. Discussing the battles that he needed to experience to get his job right, the Badhai Ho entertainer said that he couldn't learn it. It is so difficult. Three individuals helped me wrap the sari. In any case, it was a great deal of fun. Aishman Khurana stated, Who came up with the last words of Iron Man? The producers and writers wanted a classic line for Iron Man. However, even after endless thoughts, they could not think for the befitting line. By the end of which, the editor Jeff Ford decided to take it a complete circle and end Tony Stark's journey with the exact words he had started with. Imran Khan requested to meet PM Modi. Pakistan Prime Minister Imran Khan wrote a letter to Prime Minister Narendra Modi between the Lok Sabha elections in the country. In this, he quoted saying that all those cases between India and Pakistan can be resolved only by conversation. Armed smugglers arrested in Delhi. Delhi police found huge amount of weapon from them. The special cell of Delhi police arrested four armed smugglers and recovered a huge amount of arms. After this arrest, the question has been raised that if there is a conspiracy to terrorize Delhi in Lok Sabha elections. So that's all from today's top stories. Subscribe and press the bell icon to get the latest updates. Stay in touch with us to stay in touch with the world. And don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.